Okay, today we're making a hair bow holder. These are actually really simple. You don't have to be able to sew. All you need is a hot glue gun and scissors, um, a little piece of felt, and whatever ribbons you want to hang off of it. In this case, I got a couple of different damask prints, and I cut some different colors of tulle just to make it filler. And this is just a wall hanging from Hobby Lobby. You're going to hang it up just like you would if it didn't have anything off of it. So you can pretty much turn any kind of decoration into a hair beholder. It's real simple. And then it already matches with your daughter's room. But this was just really cool and I've had a couple of requests for these. So I thought, why not? We'll make a video of it. Um, you can make it as long as you want to. You can kind of figure out where you want the top of it to be and measure down, but for this one, I have a yard and a half of both colors of ribbon, and I cut that in half, and I don't have the exact inches on that, but it's a yard and a half that I cut in half, so that's really kind of funny to say. Anyway, I'm just trimming it so it looks even. And then I'm going to heat seal it. I already did the other ones, but I just did this kind of so you can see how we did it real quick. Because not everybody is into dealing with ribbons all the time, like in my house. This just keeps the ribbon from stringing. If you get like a satin or a fancier ribbon, it may need a little bit more careful sealing. Because those can turn to nothing but strings if you're not careful. Alright, we don't need the hot glue anymore. I mean the lighter anymore. Might need some Okay, first thing I'm going to do is figure out the pattern that I want on this, and then I'll worry about gluing it together. So I'm going to move this up higher so I got room underneath it to lay stuff out, because the top of that really doesn't matter. Um, okay. But I love this, and I think I want to put, like, black, pink, kind of. I may only do three of them too, I'm not sure yet. It's not staying in here. Put something on it for a second. Because you can put them closer together if you want to and have more of them, but you're not really going to hang anything on it. Um, pause the video, let me get some bows. Okay, I found myself explaining too much, so I got a couple of bows to show the point. Because if you have more of them closer together, you can do that. But it's going to overlap, so what you have to do is stagger the bows. And you can do that, it just depends on what look you want. You're going to kind of go higher and lower with the bows. Anyways. But by the time you have a couple, you're really it's really not going to make much difference whether you have three or four by the time you fill it up. Um, you can go ahead and pause it again. I don't want it to be a million miles long. So. Alright, here is where the felt comes in handy. Um, this will not show in the end, but there's two things. This makes it a little bit easier to work with instead of trying to pick up this heavy thing the whole time. And it helps it stick, to, stick better so that it will stay. So I'm going to glue the ribbons onto this. And then I'm going to use the epoxy and seal the felt to this so that it will stay on. But this I already cut to size, so it's a little bit smaller than this. So if I go edge to edge on ribbons on this, it should be just the right size. Alright, so I'm just going to start gluing my ribbon pattern. Where's the hot glue? Um, you do want to be real generous though on the glue because this is going to be carrying a lot of weight and hopefully for a lot of years. Be careful not to burn yourself. A low temperature glue gun is best when it's possible. I really have to find one. <laughs> I keep forgetting to buy it every time I go to the store. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the blacks on the ends and then decide what I want to do. I'm trying to decide if I need all three, all four. If I just want to put both pink ones in the middle or if I want to alternate the pattern. But I kind of like this because I did 
It's not going to be exactly touching anyway. You like that too? Okay. Now, the nine year old has spoken. I still want to be a part of the video. I know you do. And I am whispering. Okay. Whisper off. All right, let me do this, please. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't quite dry. <laughs> I got my finger stuck. It's okay. This part's not going to show. You just want it to be real secure so that it will stay together, stay in place, and hold up all the weight, all the weight. Because the only thing attached to the wall is the crown. So this has to be able to hold all the weight of the bows and stay on the crown or your whole thing will fall on the floor. Okay, but you can use a picture frame, a cork board, you know, anything you want, really, any kind of decoration too. And this just lets you use something for the same thing and not have to have a different item in your room. Also, I really like you that can part. take it off because it's on this felt. When your child's older, you could turn, you could cut it off and still just have the crown if you don't want bows in there. But most people use the bows for quite a few years. So. We are still using them at my house, though not as often. And it's pretty easy to change ribbons and things if you change the theme of your kids' room. We had, when the girls were little, we had a, um, what do you call it? A bust. And I had a big tutu and ribbons coming off of it. And then when they got older and they didn't have bows all the way down to the, the whole length of their door, I cut all the tulle off and I spray painted it gold. And, um, anyway, now we can start to get a sense of what this looks like. Alrighty. It's going to be pretty. It's I don't think it's going to need a lot of tool. I am going to put some behind it just because it, um, you could just leave it like this. And if you don't want to spend a lot of money on this project, they could all be the same color. You could put, just take one spool of ribbon and cut it three or four pieces. Save you money. But... I kind of like the lay the colors and the layers and the details on things. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to skip the pink one though because it's not quite the right color. But and I think it looks good. You think it looks good? I don't know. I'm going to put a couple of pieces of towel behind it just to fill in the spaces. All right. Now. <sighs> this is sticking to it. And it will a little bit with hot glue. Just You can't trust the hot glue to hold the weight. So I got this part... And I'm going to turn it over because that's where I'm going to glue the toll on. I already cut the toll to relatively the same length as, I don't remember if it's the same length as the ribbon or two of the ribbons. I think it was the same length as the ribbon. And I'll have to trim it a little bit so it's a little bit longer because it's very hard to, um, Cut it straight without sharp. So you got white, white and silver, and I'm just gonna layer these on here. And beautiful pink. Yeah, and pink. I'm just gonna layer these on here. There's not a real right or wrong way, and you don't have to have it. I just think it adds a little sparkle and pretty to it. And I'm going to. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go all the way to the top, as long as it doesn't stick out the bottom. And I'm gonna alternate the colors. So that's the white one. Somebody loves the pink, so I'm still going to use the pink. <gasps> oh, I wonder who lost the pink. Shh, okay, and I'm going to pull it over just a little bit so that it's layered like, what, what maybe an inch over from the other one? Just Again, we're just trying to add some depth and some color. There's no real purpose to this other than fun. And I'm going to take the silver one. Right on top of the pink one. Right now the hot glue is still wet, so I'm just, I haven't even had to add any more glue because this is so thin it goes right through it. But as the glue dries, I'll probably have to add more glue. But if you're quick enough, you may not. Quick! My glue is, my fingers, <laughs> my fingers have glue on them and it's kind of sticking to it and they can be a little bit different, difficult to lay them out straight right now. So uh, I may have to stop and clean up my fingers and come back. And again, that's where a low temperature glue gun is good so you're not burning yourself. 
Okay, let's see what that looks like. I'm sorry to decide if I need these other pieces. Oh, hallelujah. Look I at think this. I will, just because it will make it um, stand out from the wall. Look at or this, guys. Trying to just pull them down straight oh, where they're supposed to lay yeah. down here. We can yeah. this off. It's all sticking up funny. One thing with the glitter tool, it's very stiff and it doesn't always want to lay down where you want it to, but it's so, so pretty. So I love working with it because it's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put some more glue on it and glue the last layers and then I think we're ready to put it on the ground. All right. And I have another piece of felt I'm gonna put on top and sandwich together so that you can seal you can really press down on it and put, make a tight seal. Okay, Swiss. the last one we put on was pink. So I need white again. The most beautiful pinkity pink of the world. Okay, okay. Hold on. Okay. Same, basically, I'm going to layer it again with the same pattern. You can go ahead and pause it. This video is going to get long anyways. It's the same exact thing. Let's go. Okay, I have the second layer of tulle. Got it straightened out, and it just looks so, so pretty. Okay. I'm going to trim up the edges of this, and we're ready to attach it. We're pretty much done here. Just because I don't want it to stick out further than the crown, so there's a little bit higher on the tool. I want to make sure this, this top edge is hidden, and I don't want strange pieces sticking up in different directions. Yeah, I just, and I need to trim the ends up too. Make sure it doesn't have to. Well, I'll probably wait till it's hanging on the wall to do that, and I can kind of see where it comes down. Where it's trim. Oops. Once you have it on the wall, it's not going to tangle up a lot like this. Yeah. It's just because I'm kind of swinging it around. But it's not really made for that. Swing. Okay. It's made to hang bows on. It is. All right. I am going to put this on the back of here. The epoxy and the felt genus. So that's what we're putting on for the felt. So I am going to use hot glue too because I don't want to wait until tomorrow to glue this. But I want to make sure there's a lot of epoxy because it needs a good strong seal so that it never ever comes off accidentally. I can, I'll tell you this. When we put down epoxy, we need to. Not breathe. I know it, it stinks. stinks, but it does its job. Okay, I want to make sure this is up a little ways because I don't want it to show, or at least wear a mask. Oh, I'm sorry, your life is so terrible. Okay, pause it. I need to get something to clean the extra off. Okay. Oh. All right. Now we're ready to put the other layer on. Same thing. I'm gonna put a layer of epoxy. I actually made a mistake on this. I meant to put um, a piece of felt behind it, so I'm gonna have to cut another piece of felt. It's okay, it's not gonna show, so. Just because I wanna make sure I can press all the ribbons down together and glue it and not have any one piece or anything fall out of her. Yeah. Very concerned, because this has a lot of weight, and the crown is already very heavy. Pressing that down. I'm gonna cut another piece of felt and hot glue that real quick. You can pause it. Okay, go. Okay, I got my last piece of felt. I made a mistake. I actually meant to glue the front to the crown that I had already worked on instead of the way I just did it. So I have three pieces instead of two. But you know what? It's on the back of it. Nobody will know except the people I just told it to. <laughs> All right. Because I want to make sure I can press through all those layers tightly and seal it down extra, 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 extra good. Because this has got to stay and hold some weight. And I don't want to get this on my table. Um, so I'm going to put the ruler there because I don't care if the ruler gets glue on it. Turn it over and press on it some more because I really want that to be a tight, tight, tight seal. <sighs> oh my goodness, it's so, so pretty. Camera 
Woman, you're not paying attention. Camera Woman can. Okay. And we All right, we're about ready for the big reveal. Let's hit pause and we'll get it on the wall. All right, and there is the finished one. It looks so pretty. I'm just gonna get closer. So you can see, you don't have to have the tall, but it just makes the spaces in between look a little bit prettier. And I'm gonna put some bows on it and show you the finished product. And here's it with some bows on it. The more smaller bows, you can fit more of them closer together. Just depends on what you have. And it can go as long as you want it to go. This one only goes to the light switch, but I could go just longer and have more things to hang up. Just a matter of what you need. Thanks for watching. Wait, I need to do a special dance. Today, don't I know what a pizza, a pizza. All right, say bye, Ham. Bye, Ham.